Hey guys, I'm sorry for the echo if you can hear it. I'm trying to keep the mic like right up here so that it's not too bad. So I'm sorry if that's distracting. I also have some construction going on outside. So if you can hear that, I'm sorry about that as well. So let's just jump right into the video. So something you should know about me to kind of explain this video is that I watch a lot of different people on YouTube kind of explain how they see the world. So that's everything from atheists who want Christians to just die out you know, or not the right to vote or something weird like that, to sermons from different denominations. So one of the people that I watch, his name's called, is Mr. Atheist, blah, sorry. <laughs> and while watching one of his videos, he was covering a controversy between two Christian channels called God is Gray and Girl Defined. <clears throat> so he loves God is Gray, and so he was kind of coming to her defense. Um, but that was my introduction to these channels and having watched anywhere between five to ten videos from each channel, they just both left me sad. <laughs> and let me kind of explain why. So Girl Defined is like that bubblegum set of Christianity where you know, everybody's blonde and blue-eyed or they're like the brown hair and they always look like they're high or something. And... <laughs> You know, uh, that doesn't really, they don't really delve into the harder subjects too well, too well. Jeez, I can't talk to me. And you just come away thinking you didn't watch anything real, at least I do. And so then you go to God is great. And she doesn't really stand up for anything in the Bible except fear not. Excuse me. And that Jesus was a real dude. Um... You know, I guess she does actually believe that he came down, died on the cross for our sins, etc. like that. But other than those two things, she basically agrees with what the world says about everything, as far as I can tell, okay? So, and just after watching them, I just become sad. They both miss the balance that God's looking for. Uh, we Christians are supposed to be loving and kind, but we're also not supposed to go so far into that that we just bow down to whatever everything the world says is right and the world determines how we show love to people. I mean, the Bible tells you how to do that. Um, and that's just some of the things that make me sad. Neither one is good. I think I'm representing the Christians that I deal with on a daily basis, just trying to good, do the good works that we were created to do and also stand for the principles found in the bible i mean you have to do both right uh neither one represents me at all i mean i don't look at that and go yeah i can totally relate to really either one on like a constant basis they might have one or two videos or a section of one or two videos where i'm like oh yeah i totally relate to that otherwise not really <laughs> um I don't know. And what also makes me sad about it is that this seems to be the channels that get the most play on YouTube or they get the most recognition or, you know, all that. And that's just, I don't know, that's just not me. That doesn't represent Christianity as far as I understand it, either one of them. So I don't know. What are your thoughts? Do you know about these channels? Have you watched them before? Have you made any kind of like, do you follow them or anything? Uh, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks again, guys, for watching and spending some time with me. Just let me know if there's anything you'd like me to cover this year. I don't really know where to go next with this channel. I know there's some things that God is great has said that I would like to answer to just because I think they're just totally wrong. And then channels like Girl Defined just don't cover it at all. So <clears throat> I'd like to answer some of that just for my own well-being. <laughs> uh, if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe if you would like to see more videos, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.